Hello guys, in this video I'm going to use Fusion 360 to make a new idler wheel for the rear of the track mechanism on this radio controlled PC400. If you want to see the uh, installation of the wheel you can click on the card in the top right corner of the video. Ok guys, so we are going to make this little, uh, this little wheel thing here in uh, Fusion 360, Autodesk Fusion 360 which is a web based CAD package that I've been using lately so this should be fairly straightforward we just have to make three discs basically actually I can can I hold on maybe I shouldn't have gone to sketch could I just do a cylinder so we want our outside diameter to be around 24 so let's do that it needs to be three high I Edit. No, oh, that's not. I. That's the sketch that I added that I didn't need. So let's edit this one. I want to. Oops, not that. How do I edit the size of this thing? Ah, it's off screen. So here we go. Uh, we want this to be twenty-four. It was on my other monitor, that's why I couldn't see it. So, 24 and 3 is what we currently have. It's like this face, we'll go again. Same, uh, this one's going to be a bit smaller. Uh, we want 3mm thickness again. Uh, as for the height, I didn't actually measure that yet, so let me just quickly get that. We are talking about 8mm, it looks like, in diameter. That's that. Select this face. Another cylinder. Head to our 24. I don't know why it's not letting us. Anyway. 3 again. We want 24. That's okay. So this is the disc that we currently have. So I want to modify that and have a slightly larger disc. So I reckon about 2 millimeters increase in diameter is going to be enough to put uh, well enough tension on our track here so if I edit feature I go in here I go to 26 mil let's just see the difference there so not a, a huge increase but it might be a lot on the track but because it's so easy to uh, modify I'll just make one and we'll see how how big it ends up. So we're missing one thing here. Let me just put a hole in the middle for our for our axle. So we want it to go minus we want it to be nine. So now you can see it's gone red so that means it's gonna cut. Oops, what I do accidentally cancel that it looks like let's do it again um, oh, there we go we're cutting a three millimeter hole through the middle of it it's red because it's gone to cut you can change that to join or cut whatever you need there so we want to cut. So this is our wheel, our idler gear for our tracks. So if we want to take this to a uh, repeatier host, we go to make 3D print. Uh, this is our print setting, so we can just select our object. You can see the preview mesh there, gives you an idea of how it's gonna mesh it, and then you have some refinement options. And I have this set up uh, with custom going to repeat a host for my GEE tech printer and uh, that is pretty much it so I'll hit OK and now it's moving it to repeat a host and now you see our object has been exported from Fusion directly into the uh, the program that controls the printer so now we have our object in repeat a host it's 
clearly not in the right uh, kind of orientation so I can give it a 90 degrees rotation and then drop it to the bed of the printer so that's the heat bed so now it's where we want it let's slice it with slicer I want what do I want this is what I want solid so that's okay slice it now and it will take us 26 minutes to print that that's gonna print a support material in the middle so well, that's okay uh, I think that'll work out okay so now all that's left to do is just uh, print it so that's how I designed the wheel in Fusion 360 if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button and any comments or suggestions let me know below the video or you can head on over to the forum and don't forget there's a video of me installing it in the RC excavator and uh, testing it out there'll be a link for that in the description of the video unless I forgot about it but um, yeah you can head on over and have a look at that video too if you're interested and I think that's pretty much everything so thanks very much for watching